Ole Bato YouTube just coming at you with another video it's been a while since my last video so I thought I'd catch you up with uh, some of my purchases that I've made in the last few months so as you can see here we have uh, the iconic Bugs Bunny on display and I'll show you what I got I went ahead and did the uh, 20 for 20 offer with the Royal Canadian Mint where uh, each of these is uh, a 20 Canadian dollar uh, legal tender uh, silver um, coin. And uh, because of the favorable uh, exchange rate, um, the $100 Canadian was, I don't know, somewhere in the 80s. And I paid uh, my highest price ever per ounce for... Uh, silver of $66.32. Each of these is a quarter ounce of silver for a total of uh, one and a quarter ounces. But as you can see, they come with uh, the uh, certificate of authenticity as well as uh, an individual um, uh, certificate of authenticity for each of the uh, coins. So I have one per. And if I want to break up these and give and uh, sell them or what have you, I can go ahead and include that so that the buyer gets everything that they're uh, entitled to and expect. But um, yeah, this was a pretty fun little purchase. It was the first time I've uh, bought directly from the Royal Canadian Mint, and uh, it took a little while to ship, a couple weeks, but um, wasn't too bad all in all. Um, I'd probably be willing to do business again with them. However, um, this was kind of uh, this was kind of a nostalgic uh, purchase, and I uh, don't know that I would be willing to pay uh, so much per ounce in the future. So I'll just go ahead and set those there. Uh, next up, I uh, stopped at my uh, local coin shop back in uh, August 21st and uh, picked up some uh, some American Silver Eagles, just random years. And uh, here they are. They gave me random years and uh, I don't know, some of them were 2007s if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one's a 2007. So some of these are 2007s, which is a pretty good year, but not the key date year of uh, 2008, maybe 2009, when the uh, mintage was lower due to the uh, state that the economy was in. But um, still in decent shape nonetheless. They've been through the secondary market or uh, been sold to, to people who've uh, sold them back to that local coin shop. So these have been in somebody else's hands. Um, all in all, they look like they're in good shape. Uh, no real... Uh, no real issues that I can see. Maybe the faintest hint of toning, but I don't. I don't think they're uh, they're bad. And you know, toning might be a positive at some point in time. Let's see. Uh, for some reason, this uh, tube is maybe not the right size. Uh, they were saying that one year had a problem, but um, uh, some of them you can see they're sticking. And they don't all want to come out. Really weird. But, um, they are what they are. I got them for $18.68 each on August 21st. So I picked up my first Gold Eagle. I picked this up also on August 21st. I paid uh, $1,207. This one is a $1997 Gold Eagle. Again, it's been on the secondary market, but still looks pretty good. Uh, reeded edge is still mostly sharp. Um, not too many uh, abrasions or anything like that. Looks good. Um, 
I'm happy with it. It looks looks like a, a good one to me. And uh, frankly, older is better. I mean, um, people might be looking for this. Might be a key date. I don't know. I really don't know much about uh, about the status of uh, the numismatic appreciation of uh, of these uh, coins. But uh, yeah, it's a beauty and uh, one that I've always wanted. And I really like the density of gold. It feels feels great. So on August 22nd, there was a, uh, a price drop in, uh, the, in the spot price of silver. And since I just purchased some uh, eagles here, I was a little bit upset and I wanted to reduce my cost per ounce overall. So I picked up one, two, three, <laughs> Four, five tubes of Philharmonics. Um, as you can see, they have faint uh, milk spotting, but you know, I'm not really getting these for their uh, numismatic value. This is just uh, inexpensive government silver. Just inexpensive government silver. They're not. They don't look too bad, but um, you know they're not. They're not uh, as good as as what we would like to see uh, on a numismatic piece. We got a little bit of uh, uh, I don't know toning or milk spotting around the edges and whatnot. That's just fine. They're uh, they're 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 going to serve the purpose I'm looking for which is recognizable uh, silver. And I paid $17.13 each for these, which was a pretty good price. I had them, uh, I had them match uh, um, one of the online dealers, I believe Provident. And uh, that was not bad. So 100 ounces of that. If you've seen Silver Picker's recent videos, You'll know what he purchased. And I got the same thing. I got five of these uh, throwback uh, um, old timey uh, style uh, bars from Silvertown. Um, let's see if my corners look like his. I don't know. Hard to say. Anyways, I really like these. They, uh, they have that individualized uh, plastic that's sealed. Looks uh, really cool. Um, I'm really happy with these. And I purchased these online through uh, JM Bullion on October 19th. Um, I paid, um, let's see, paid 17.89 each for these, uh, Silvertown bars, which is a pretty cool price. They were on sale. Uh, I picked up five of them, like you, like you can see. Um, not bad. And finally, I picked up, uh, these. I'm not a big fan of buffaloes, but these are the first ounce and a quarter, um, maple leaves and I thought they were kind of interesting because they're they're uh, a new size and this is the first that they've ever produced these so why not and gotta love the chunkiness of this bad boy it's thick um, these are really pretty cool in terms of the thickness it's got the radial uh, background there on the um, 
reverse with the queen. Um, pretty cool. I like the way it turned out. It's a uh, pretty, pretty nice little coin. And I got 21 of these. Interestingly, a tube, instead of holding 25 like uh, regular maple leaves, uh, since they're ounce and a quarter, they only hold 20. So I got 21. So that I can uh, have one to play with, and I'll just go ahead and keep. Uh, I'll just go ahead and keep the rest of that sealed. And I paid uh, twenty four forty nine each for these uh, buffaloes, um, and that works out to be a price of nineteen dollars and sixty cents per ounce. Uh, which includes the uh, premium, which is really not bad considering where things were around October 19th. I just want to go ahead and quickly throw one of these on the scale. I haven't weighed it yet. There it is, 1.26 troy ounces. So looks like we're there. All right, I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. I know it's been a while, and uh, I can't promise I'm going to keep up the pace on uh, videos, but it's fun to make one of these videos once in a while. I'm not not nearly as, as good as the rest of you guys in the uh, community who have all been really nice and supportive and um, very thankful for all my subscribers. I'm doing this just for fun. I'm not monetizing these videos as far as I know. So, uh, you know, this is me just sharing what I have and hopefully giving you a little bit of uh, information that you can use to better be uh, prepared should you ever buy any of the things that I buy. Um, I'm really glad that you were able to stop by and watch this and uh, check back uh, often. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.